Today on DIY Gaming, we get some basic board making under our belt. So get you some. <laughs> Welcome to DIY Gaming, your source for tips and walkthroughs for making your own prototype and playtesting components. I'm your host, Brian Beach, and what could be more magical than making your own board for your very own board game? Now today's project will apply to future videos where I will reference this video and those videos. So pay attention. Any questions? We're not going to do a bifolding board today. We're going to develop uh, some of the board making skills by just making a flat board that doesn't that doesn't fold. Okay, and so what you're going to want to start with is just some. Uh, I use a thin chipboard, or I mean, it's just a it's just kind of a <laughs> pressed paper is really what that is. Of course, you'll also want something that we're going to use for backing. I just got a black matte backing that's a poster board for bulletin boards. I like the finish on these, I think it feels good. Some scoring tape, or uh, this says easy tear tape. It's, I picked this up at a craft store near the photo section. Don't get the photo mounting tape, it might be hanging up next to it. You'll, this, you'll want something that's uh, double-sided, permanent, and not foam tape. A can of your favorite Super 77 spray glue. Okay. And of course, the crown jewel, you will want to go have your board printed at a local printer. I just take a thumb drive up to them, tell them how big you want it, how big, how big you made it, and uh, they should flawlessly print that out or your money back. Tell them I said so. Other tools of the trade you'll need today. You will need a ruler, some skizzers, and a pencil. And it needs to be sharp. Safety first. We're going to start by cutting out your picture. Uh, best thing to use is a slicer if you have one big enough. I don't, so I'm going to use these bad boys. Next, you'll need to prepare your mounting surface by measuring and cutting your chip or paperboard a half inch longer than your printed playing surface's total length and width. This will offer a quarter inch frame of chipboard around your print for our final product. If using a thinner board like the one I have here, it will be necessary to glue two identical boards together to create the stiff backing desired. Use the same 77 spray glue on one of the boards to achieve this bond. Now measure and cut your backing material a total of two inches longer length and width wise than your chipboard, giving us a full one inch frame of backing to work with around your mounted board. Now center your mounting board against the inside of the backing surface. Mark the corners of the mounting board and weigh down the backing paper before removing the board. Apply the spray glue to one side of the mounting board and affix it to the backing paper using the corner markings as guides. Now always spray glue in a well ventilated area. And careful not to saturate your project with it. Also note that this glue will immediately bond, so watch yourself buckaroo. Just a little saying of mine. <laughs> Next, mark the backing about a millimeter out from each corner of the mounting board and cut right angles from there. Choose two opposite edges to cut an additional 45 degrees from the corner to the edge, ending with two opposite trapezoidal sides. With the scoring or binding tape, line the edges of the backing's flaps, preparing for the final wrap. Now, remove the wax from the tape along the two opposite rectangular sides. You'll roll and wrap these edges tight against the mounting board first. Then, you'll repeat this step for the two opposite angled sides, giving us a nice 45 degree finished look along the outside corners. <laughs> Math is so cool. Finally, center and line up your picture against the board and mark the corners. Carefully apply the spray glue to the back side and affix the picture to the board using the markings as guides. And that is it. Now, if you've never made a board before, you're going to want to start with this simpler design before moving on to more complex versions. Thank you for joining me on DIY Gaming. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to Pub Meeple. And be safe out there, buckaroo.
Math is important. Don't drop out.